devil in my life. Talo Falaba, my name is Thomas Fonua, also known as Queen Kong, and I am the South Australian representative for Drag Nation Season 4. Wow! wow. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna keep this video super short and super sweet. So just a little bit about myself. Firstly, I'm super cheap because obviously I've blown the budget with this production value and this video. I've literally duct taped um, my camera to a mirror and a couple of LED strips as well. But hey, that's neither here or there. Um, I am originally from New Zealand and have been living in Australia for just over six years now, mainly based in Adelaide, South Australia. Um, I've been doing drag for just over a year, like properly, yeah, which sounds like not much time at all. Having said that, um, I am a professional dancer and I've been working professionally full time for just over 10 years now um, for companies, acclaimed companies over in New Zealand, here in Australia, in Canada, the US. Um, and I've been touring internationally um, from the age of 16, so I have quite a bit of experience um, and my background is in performance. Um, so drag has been a real interesting addition into my life because it's been more of an extension and an exploration of my artistry as a contemporary artist. Uh, something that is super inspiring and is probably my biggest driving force and inspiration and in drag is my Pacific Indigenous heritage. Um, now, the reason why this is so important to me and the reason why I'm speaking about it is because I believe um, there is a lack of representation of my demographic in our Australian community. And I believe um, uh, what I bring as an artist and my point of difference is a voice that needs to be heard, um, not only just in general, but for people like myself who have migrated to Australia um, and don't feel like they necessarily have a place um, in the community. Uh, now, the reason why I think this is so important um, and to speak about is because I believe that drag queens um, are the symbols for many people of love and pure acceptance not only just acceptance of other people but self-acceptance and um, for so many people uh, we look to drag queens who are basically the leaders of our community and they are the unsung heroes and the flag bearers of our communities and that's a title that is that goes hand in hand with being a drag queen and it sets the tone and the difference between being a drag queen and being a boy wearing a dress um, uh, which is a great responsibility that I take very 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 seriously Okay, now having said all of that serious stuff, bringing it back to a lighter note, um, something that I really love about the art form of drag is the ability to give people license to enjoy and love and laugh at you while you are on stage. Um, there's nothing quite like it. And even as a, as a professional male dancer, that exchange is completely different to what it's like as a drag queen. And it's something about having the, a big dress on or hip pads or a big wig. Um, it's something about that packaging that really enables people to live their best life with you in that moment while you're living yours on stage. And as a performer, there's nothing like that. And that's why I do it. It's the beauty of live performance. Um, and it's also instant gratification for when you've worked hard and created something not only for yourself but to reach other people and I believe that's what performance and drag is about, for me anyway. Okay, so the last thing you're going to hear me talk about in this video is what you can expect Queen Kong to bring to the Drag Nation Finals. You might just have to buy a ticket. <sighs> Come and see. Um, you'll definitely see a big brown man dressed up as a big brown man. <laughs> um, probably wearing three wigs to mask these shoulders. Um, yeah, get a ticket and come and see. Bye. Poison.